get started here. On the left side, on Dragonshire, we have Ant Faculty as the blue team, and we have Holo on Tassadar, we have uh, Cripple Pete on Tychus, we have uh, Zypho on Aberthur, and Illidan is played by Zon, and Noafil is uh, playing the Ufer. And on the right hand side, we have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Five, Skill four, with Rhaegar. Three. Played Two, by Zebro. One. In the mid lane, we have Sulka, who can't, won't stop moving, so I'm pretty sure I read his name wrong. On the Anubarak, Lord on the Stitches, and uh, Scap Scalpy, I believe his name is Scalpi, on the Nova. And in the bot lane, we have the Rainer, which is Bzzzt Tana. <laughs> That's kind of a funny name. And uh, he has the Zebro and a Zebra skin. I love that. I love uh, that mount. It's such it's a my nice... favorite mount, but I can't justify buying the Nexus uh, yeah. bundle because I already have all the heroes in it pretty much. I'm missing like two. Oh, wow. <laughs> that dirty esports money. Dirty esports. That's actually how I have funded all of my heroes habits. All right, but for now. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing Crystal Skill gathering around that bot lane, but the Oracle of Tastar reaching all the way down and keeping vision on them. So, end faculty know that they are here, and end faculty definitely not running a roaming comp here. Illidan hanging in this bot lane, looking for a pick, and just helping them gain control of this bottom area, so they could roam up to get mercs if they... Yeah, they, they know what's up. Uh, Uther's actually Uther a little bit in trouble down there. Ooh, wow, with a nice stun and a good body block. Nope, Zyka needs to get away. Yes. Rainer is there to do some damage. Ooh, Illidan jumping on top of him. Yeah, but everyone knew what's going down, on. But Nova was revealed to be... The, the real Nova was revealed by the Abba for Mind, really helping some control in the spotlight, and now Sonica has been engaged upon. Yeah, good stun. Just get him off their back. But they're gonna get the shrine here. Um, maybe Scalpay can stop them. No, they're gonna get the shrine. Uh, I don't know if, if uh, Illidan is gonna be the right choice to keep this bot though. Wow, that was quick. I think that's the quickest Dragon Knight we've ever had in the ESL tournament. One minute forty. That was almost instant. Yeah, they had some really good control, and that with mostly um, melee heroes. Yeah, well, the thing is, in order to get into the shrine, you have to cross through a bush into melee range. You can, you can throw skill shots in there, but there's a huge chance you'll miss, and you're not going to deny with skill shots. So, very, very good control here by NPAC, and now they are punishing Crystal Skill for it by completely smashing on their front door. Yeah, they're going to get a really early fort kill here, but they're, uh, they're split pushing at the same time. I don't know if that's the right choice. They could have played out their strength here um, with just taking out the first fort and grabbing a really nice experience bonus. Um, let's see if they can just do it with Uther and the Dragon Knight themselves. No, nope, Dragon Knight is up and it's Tassel and Uther in there. But they did grab uh, two towers and the gate, which always helps out in these middle lane, uh, middle, middle lane fort fights. Yeah, that's pretty much standard for the first Dragon Knight in terms of what you're going to get. And uh, I just realized I didn't start my local recording until just now, so you're joining us like 2 minutes 50 into the game. We had a 1 minute 40 Dragon Knight, so that was fun. But like I said, the gate and the two towers are pretty standard as what you get on the first Dragon Knight. So I like the fact they were split pushing and draining some tower ammo in the, both the tops and bottom lane as well. Uh, I don't know, they're planning something here. Uh, Abathur is waiting, uh, Anubarak is waiting uh, next to the easy camp there, but it's they're, like they're not get... going for it right there. Yeah, they're they've been doing this all game. They really, really want the gank onto this bot lame team. Abathur just helping Noafiel take this easy camp. They will get it, but that's going to be incredibly slow. So they will take that down in a couple in a couple more seconds. Zod looks like he's finally going to... Nope, he's not. He's just going to deny the help. He's just going to try and bait out more abilities. And Soika doesn't Ooh, go nice on Nice deep but dive, but oh, Illidan, he just gets away so easily. Yeah, evasion was used. So all the damage that Rainer tried to put on there was completely nullified. So that engagement did about as much damage as the knock-up did. And that was it. And now Zon, he's waiting for his engagement as he's... Try to bait out abilities here. Oh, and the deep oh, move oh. might be in big trouble. Amazing body back here by Zon and Nofio. Uh, will they get him though? Oh. Yep, they will. That with the support by Avatar. <laughs> that was such a good bait. Just walks out, doesn't even throw an ability. Walks back in. Deep tunnel goes way too far. Instant body mock, instant kill. Superb play by Infact. Yeah, and there was nothing that Raider could do to save him. Uh, he was still on cooldown with a deep dive, so no way to get out of there. Um, just sh goes to show what risky play uh, really means if you go down uh, go down to the bushes without seeing anything. Yep, 
If you go in blind, you're gonna get hit by something you didn't see. And he went in blind and Ella did. Going a bit ham there. Need to be a bit careful. Doesn't actually care. Just gonna run into a wall for a bit there. Leaps over. It's now gonna wander back. Join Ufa, and they already have that. Tyrael is, is in trouble in the top lane. There's some nice blocking there yeah, with, a, with a mirror. There and is. wow! Clutch save here by Cripple P. Yep, Clutch Elder Wind's might there, keeping him alive. He's got his fountain. He's going to be gaining that help, but he's not going to be able to get that top shrine back while either Nubarak or Nova are hanging around. But it looks like they're going to begin their roam down to the bot lane. And in the mid lane, I'd like to point out. Lord has been having a horrible game. He's just being bullied constantly by this Abatha. Yep, and um, That's yeah, nice um, I think they want uh, they want to do some little bit more damage. Try to do a little bit better pushing here uh, down the uh, bot lane, and they grab the Dragon Knight again. Wow, Rhaegar really didn't watch out there. Uh, Tychus again able to go for that. Uh, Rhaegar did actually attempt to go in to attempt to stop the to take back the top shrine, but Ty uh, Tyrael did fight him and he did win. So Rhaegar had to back out and Stitches was already too low from having to back battle mm -hmm. with Astar. Holo is surrounded though. He he's Probably. in a bit of trouble. Uh, kicking out Stitches there. I don't know if that's the right choice, but uh, some nice body blocking by a noob. But he's uh, under support by Abathur now, so he should be fine getting away there. Nice hook, and they get him, and there comes the Gorge by Lord, finally going going for that. Ooh, Illidan moving in now, and Nova missing her ultimate. Then we see a DC there on the... that's the Anubrak, I believe. He does he does disappear. Nova is still just sort of sitting there doing absolutely nothing. She threw up a position strike and is now just ignoring everything. And in the meantime, we can see that Abathur did in fact ultimate evolution the Tass star, and they're gonna get this middle four for it. And in the meantime, Tass Tyrael is still up in this top lane, just soaking all the XP. Yeah, he's doing a good job. He's gonna get the gate as well. So, um, some really nice split pushing what they're doing here. And I love the save by Tass. I don't know if you, uh, if you ca caught that. Um, there was actually a hook coming in by Stitches, but he was in uh, invulnerability form right there, doing the face shift, and uh, just saving, saving himself that way. Yeah, very, very well played. And uh, we've seen, uh, we have seen Hollow on his Tassadar quite a lot, and he's just played superbly every single time. Always on point with those face shifts, keeping himself alive. Just an incredible player on that particular hero. And while all this is going on, in fact, grabs their hard camp. And I like what Abafa did there. He headed into that area just to get, make sure his Locust could support here and just get a little extra damage done and a little extra tanking. And he's doing exactly the same here. They know exactly where Crystal uh, crystal Skill are. So Abafa is wandering in and he's helping out. The Locusts are just getting a bit of tanking done. He's sacrificing a bit of his own health because he can be with no trouble at all. He's not missing out on any XP. Yeah, and um, they're really doing a good job as far as uh, map vision is concerned. Uh, they do have the cams going out in all lanes. Uh, Tassadar taking the middle. It's a little bit risky play if you're thinking about, okay, um, just going in blind. But since they do have the locusts on, on the lanes, they do have the mines um, sp uh, spread out on the map. And just having the cams push out, they know where um, where Crystal Skills is at. It's uh, pretty obvious where Crystal Skills is at at the moment anyway, because they are rushing through this top four. But at the same time, in fact, with four giant camps in this top lane, in this bottom lane, are gonna destroy everything. Towers are gonna go down, and we're gonna see Crystal Skill probably be out, or at least try to get the Dragon Knight as quick as possible. It's almost definitely gonna be the Dragon Knight. Nova already heading down there. Yeah, I think Once they're gonna get the Dragon, Dragon Knight. Knight. But what are you gonna do with it? They're gonna have the Dragon Knight, then they all need to be to defend. The Dragon Knight can't really get too much done in the zone. In fact, are gonna have to likely back out here. Hook completely misses there. Very well played by Infac. They still go for this keep and they can still get it as long as they have these giants. There's the clone and they're just going for it. The Dragon Knight is so far out. He's not going to be able to help yet. And then Faculty take down the first keep of the game. Who just got eaten? Oh, it was um, And he's... <laughs> yeah, and a nice pushback. There comes the ultimate. Oh, getting uh, getting the copy um, out of uh, the ta copy Tessera there. But um, he's still alive. And now they're dishing out on the Dragon Knight. Oh wow, the mobs are still alive, um, just putting on the artillery fire here, Isn't and it? the Dragon Knight uh, has been strong. If they can take down the Dragon Knight, which they can now that Shrink Ray has gone down, he will go down, and Nubarak has to get out. Second Dominion Wave arrives to help tank this, they can probably take this keep on the left hand side, or go for the core, 
depending on what they choose to do. Looks like they're just going to harass the keep from out of range. They don't have enough minions to tank the core yet. They will probably get this keep. Tyrion Ooh. gets hooked, but he still will have Elduin to escape. No, he does oh, go A little there. bit like, too late there. Kind of tiny bit of a delay, and um, that was that enough was time it. to um, take him out. Amphus right there. Nova seed him. Oh, the snipe misses from Nova. And while all that was going on, Illidan is sort of just killing everything. These giants are still alive. Tassadar just walks away because uh, Nova missed everything right there. Hollow oh, going wow. on to Nova. They're going to try and take her down with Zon. And Nova will yeah. go down. And Renner will also and fall. And just a complete it. team annihilation here. And I think they're just going to go for the core. Yeah, and they, they they're all pretty high up. So they're just going to kill it right here. Amifer is in here as well. He's meleeing the core. He's actually might die if he's not careful due to the splash damage. But uh, he's backed up. He's still there. He's going to symbiote from right there. There's the oh. storm. Just CCing what's left of the team. Hollow is actually being dropped pretty low. Hollow goes down, but Zon dives in and gets the kill on the core. And end faculty take game number two in 10 minutes and 32 seconds. 10 kills to two. That was an amazing game, really quick game. I mean, uh, you said it before, the, the fastest Dragon Knight you've ever seen. And from that, I think everything, everything just went their way, um, kind of snowballed uh, for Crystal Skill. Um, yeah, good team fights. And I don't know, I, I think it was also kind of a weird decision. Uh, you said it, I mean, going for the Dragon Knight while they were being attacked and also going in there with a noob. I mean, you do need a noob to engage any kind of fight uh, with the composition they had. You need the CC against this kind of composition. You need something to try and slow down Illidan, something to at least distract one of the two Tassadars because they are huge when they're in those those uh, Archon forms. So you need something to deal with them. And if you have your main source of CC in there, like they had Rhaegar on the map in a very similar position. He could have run down and done it. He would have got the same job done. They just wouldn't have had their healer, which would have still been better than not having their CC. That's, that's correct. Okay, let's check out um, the bracket if we have any updates. I doubt it since, um, yeah, that, that was such a quick, quick game. game. Uh, 